Hello everyone, my name is Mayuru Vale. I am an assistant professor in civil department WIT Solapur. So today we are going to learn about determination of coagulant dose in water treatment plant. So what are the learning outcomes? Students will be able to determine coagulant dose in water treatment plant. So generally we know that in a flow sheet diagram of a water treatment plant, the coagulant dose is being added after aeration process and if it is a industrial treatment, we provide a flash mixer. Otherwise, in a conventional water treatment plant, generally it is directly went to the flocculation process. So if I look uh, for a water treatment for a particular city, uh, after the aeration, the coagulation dose will be there and it will be directly, uh, then the water will be sent to the flocculation. Now, we will see two uh, numericals uh, regarding the coagulant dose. So first is relatively simple. So let us understand the question first. Determine the quantity of alum required in order to treat uh, 13 million liters of water per day, that is 13 MLD at water treatment plant where 12 ppm or 12 mg per liter alum dose is required. Also determine amount of carbon dioxide which will be released per liter of water treated. Now for that first we have to calculate the amount of alum per day. In that it is given the quantity of water which is 13 into 10, into 10 raised to 6 liters per day that is 13 MLD and the alum dose which is required is 12 mg per liter. So to calculate the alum what I will do I will multiply the flow rate uh, to uh, the alum required. So how I can put it 13 into 10 raised to 6 liters per day multiply by 12 mg per liter where liters liters will get cancelled and the unit will become mg per day and the value will come about 156 into 10 raised to 6 mg per day as i need to get in kg so what i will do i will multiply by 10 raised to minus 6 so automatically 10 raised to 6 and 10 raised to minus 6 will get cancelled and 156 kg per day that is the alum required we will get now to calculate the whatever masses like though in the question it is written that carbon dioxide if I want to calculate how much hardness is going to present that is permanent hardness or uh, CSO4 we can do it using the chemical equation for the alum dose. What is the chemical equation? Al2SO4 thrice 18H2O that is our alum plus 3CaHCO3 twice will give out ALOH stress that is our main coagulant dose in the water plus hardness that is CaSO4 plus water that is H2O plus uh, CO2 that is carbon dioxide released. So if I formulate properly uh, automatically these values will come that is 3, 2, 3, 18 and 6. So it will become equal. Now to calculate the alum I need to calculate first the uh, amount of alum required by using the chemical formula and putting their uh, uh, atomic mass into the formula. So to calculate the molecular mass what I will do as it is written Al2 that is 2 multiplied by uh, atomic weight of the uh, aluminium that is 2 into 26.97 plus 3 in bracket 32.066 that is of uh, sulfur plus 4 into oxygen that is 16 uh, plus 18 that is uh, of this part 18 plus 2 into 1.008 that is of hydrogen plus 16. So how much it will come? Here it is 666.426. So we can simply say 666 that which is the molecular mass of alum. Now as need to calculate how much carbon dioxide is coming out, I need to calculate molecular mass of carbon dioxide. So I will be easily putting that is 12.01 which is atomic weight of carbon plus 2 into 16 that is of O2 here that is coming about 44.01 I can directly say it is 44. Now I have calculated molecular masses. Now I need to calculate uh, amount of carbon dioxide released. So as from the chemical equation uh, 666 mg of alum uh, which is used by which 6 into 44 mg of carbon dioxide released. From where this 6 is coming? From this chemical formula. Like this is our alum. So 1 mole of alum is producing 6 moles of carbon dioxide. So similarly in that way 
सिक्स 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 विल बी गिविंग आउट सिक्स इंटू टेन सिक्स इंटू फोर्टी फोर एम जी ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो एज वी आर यूजिंग ट्वेल्व एम जी पर लीटर ऑफ एलम विच इज बींग गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड विल बी रिलीज पर लीटर सो देर इज अ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो ट्वेल्व एम जी ऑफ एलम विल रिलीज सिक्स इंटू फोर्टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय दिस सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय ट्वेल्व एम जी ऑफ सी ओ टू विच विल बी कमिंग अबाउट फोर पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स एम जी ऑफ सी ओ टू इट मीन्स दैट ट्वेल्व एम जी ऑफ एलम इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ट्रीटिंग वन लीटर ऑफ वाटर बिकॉज द यूनिट वॉज ट्वेल्व एम जी पर लीटर इट मीन्स ट्वेल्व एम जी फॉर वन लीटर द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज विल बी फोर फोर पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स एम जी ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो लेट एस टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल विच इज रिलेटिवली ट्रिकियर A coagulation sedimentation plant clarifies forty uh, um, mld of uh, water every day. The quantity of uh, filter alum required at a plant is eighteen mg per liter. If a raw water is having alkalinity equivalent to five mg per liter of CaCO three, determine quantity of filter alum and quick alum, which is having a eighty five percent purity required per year. For a plant, given the molecular masses as alum to be twenty-seven, sulfur to be thirty-two, oxygen sixteen, hydrogen one, Ca forty, and ca uh, carbon twelve. So first, what we'll do? We'll go with a similar procedure. Calculate the alum first, as the flow rate is given and alum dose is given. Directly calculate the alum by multiplying flow rate into alum dose. Uh, so uh, how we can write it? 40 into 10 raised to 6 liters per day multiplied by 18 mg per liter, which will be coming about 720 into 10 raised to 6 mg per liter. Convert it into uh, kg. So by just multiplying 10 raised to minus 6, so it will be coming about 720 multiplied by 10 raised to 6 uh, multiplied by 10 raised to minus 6 uh, in kg per day, which will be coming about uh, 720 kg per day. Now quantity of alum required again it is for per day and we have to calculate per year because in the question if you can see it is written per year here so that's why I need to calculate per uh, for year so how I can do it as I know for one day it is required about seven twenty for three sixty five days I have to just multiply it by three sixty five and I will get about two six two eight zero double zero kgs if I convert it into uh, tons I will just multiply by ten to minus three. I will uh, get about two sixty two point eight tons. So amount of alum required per year would be two sixty two point eight tons. Now to calculate different uh, uh, what we can say different component masses. Uh, first we need to uh, what they are asking is to calculate the alum uh, calculate the quick lamp. Fine. Why quick lamp to prepare this CaHCO three twice. Fine. So how the CaHCO three twice is being formed. When I am adding CaCO3 uh, with water and along with the carbon dioxide, I will be getting CaCO3 twice. But when I am uh, fo forming this CaCO3, I need to get CaO also. So quick lamp is necessary. From the quick lamp, CaCO3 will be formed, and from the CaCO3, CaCO3 will be formed. So CaCO3 how it will be formed by uh, CaO plus CO2. So for all these three equations. i need to calculate the molecular masses so as we know the atomic weight of each and every component i will directly jump to calculate the molecular masses of each component as we had uh, discussed earlier the molecular mass of alum which is calculated about 666 so i will not discuss once again so similarly we have to calculate molecular mass of components uh, for ch3 twice which is coming about 162 For calcium carbonate, it is coming about hundred. For uh, calcium oxide or quick lime, it is coming about fifty six. Now, uh, from the above equations, uh, we know that the alum requires three into one sixty two parts of natural alkalinity, that is CHCO three twice, for one mole or six 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 parts of alum. Now, this three into one sixty two parts of alkalinity as CHCO three twice is also equivalent to Three into hundred uh, parts of alkalinity required as CaCO3. Hence, the alkalinity required as CaCO3 for a water containing alum of 18 mg per liter will be coming about three into 
हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स 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 मल्टीप्लाई बाय एटीन एम जी पर लीटर विच इज कमिंग अबाउट एट पॉइंट वन जीरो एट एम जी पर लीटर फ्रॉम दैट द नेचुरल एल्कलिटी विच इज अवेलेबल टू अस एज विच इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इज फाइव एम जी पर लीटर बट हाउ मच एल्कलिटी इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज एट पॉइंट वन जीरो एट एम जी पर लीटर सो एज नेचुरल एल्कलिटी इज प्रेजेंट वी हैव टू सब्सट्रेक्ट इट एंड वॉट एवर द एडिशनल एल्कलिटी विच इज नीडेड टू बी प्रोवाइडेड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट जस्ट बाय सब्सट्रेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस दैट इज एट पॉइंट वन जीरो एट माइनस फाइव इट इज कमिंग अबाउट थ्री पॉइंट वन जीरो एट एम जी पर लीटर एज सी एस सी ओ थ्री नाउ एज वी नो हंड्रेड पार्ट्स ऑफ सी एस सी ओ थ्री इट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय फिफ्टी सिक्स पार्ट्स ऑफ सी ओ दैट इज फ्रॉम द केमिकल इक्वेशन द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ सी ओ रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस थ्री पॉइंट वन जीरो एट एम जी पर लीटर विट रिक्वायर थ्री पॉइंट वन जीरो एट इंटू फिफ्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड एम जी पर लीटर विच इज कमिंग अबाउट वन पॉइंट सेवन फोर एम जी पर लीटर नाउ सिंस द क्विक लैम रिक्वायर्स इट इज हैविंग एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द प्योरिटी सो वी हैव टू रिड्यूस डाउन द प्योरिटी सो वन पॉइंट सेवन फोर इंटू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई एटी फाइव दैट इज वी आर डिवाइडिंग बाई परसेंटेज इन डायरेक्टली विच इज कमिंग अबाउट टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एम जी पर लीटर सो द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ लाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ट्रीटिंग फोर्टी इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स लीटर पर डे वुड रिक्वायर हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ लाइम जस्ट बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग द डोज दैट इज टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इंटू फोर्टी इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स एम जी पर लीटर और टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इंटू फोर्टी के जी पर डे विल बी कमिंग अबाउट एटी टू के जी पर डे सो ईयरली कंजम्पन जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री फिफ्टी सिक्स वी विल गेट Now let us have few review questions. First, alum requires four eighty six parts of natural alkalinity as CaCO three for every six 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 parts of alum. This statement is true or false. Second, four eighty six parts of alkalinity as CaCO three twice is equivalent to how much parts of alkalinity required as CaCO three? Three into hundred, three into fifty six, or three into six six six, or none of the above. And the last question would be. The calcium oxide is also known as hydrated lime, quick lime, slack lime, or none of the above. So, what are the answers? Yes, the first statement is true. Second, the four eighty-three parts of alkalinity as CaCO three twice is always equivalent to three into hundred uh, parts of alkalinity required as CaCO three. And the last one, that is CaO, is also known as quick lime. So, these are the references I have used to make this presentation. Thank you so much.